I have been scouring the internet for this. I have been keeping my eyes peeled because the brand new Costco Kirkland driver has been spotted. More images, more spec details, what material will it be, what price point. We're going to cover all this in this video. Now, earlier in the year, we found out that Costco and Kirkland had been on the conforming list for a brand new driver. And that was something which literally melted down the internet. We broke that news here on Back Nine Films. And now we are getting closer to a launch date and we have even more information. Now, before we go into the actual driver, the specs and what the conforming list says all about this driver, I want to know, right? Because in the past, We've had wedges from them. We've had irons. We've had golf balls, golf clubs, putters. You name it, they have produced it and everybody has loved it because it performs and it's at a cheaper price. So I want to know, are you a golfer who games a Kirkland product? And what handicap are you? Because I think this is really surprising. In the past, when you think of the Kirkland product, I'm just going to put it out there, that it's been sort of a higher handicap golfer's I guess, go to. Whereas I think that is starting to change. I think lower handicap golfers are starting to experiment, starting to see the benefits. And obviously, if it's cheaper and performs, why not? So I would love it if you get down in the comments and let me know. Because looking at this driver, I am getting tight list vibes. Honestly, it reminds me of a TSI driver. Like, obviously, I think that's a good thing. Like, obviously, you think of tight list and you think premium, you think exclusive, you think good player, which I guess potentially is a strange way for Kirkland and Costco to go. So let's get into some more of these details. So the driver, Kirkland Signature Driver, is being manufactured by SM Global LLC. Now, as I said, we already knew that it was on the conforming list, but here are the things that you didn't know. So the driver is going to be a 10 and a half degree head. It's going to have a back weight, which promotes forgiveness and stability to preserve speed and accuracy on off center hits. So you can see this on the golf club, the detailing. You've got sort of this triangular effects on the back, the logo at the top, the little details of the loft. And there you can see it. Very tight list-esque, the little circular weight right at the back of the head. Now, the further back you put the weight or the center of gravity away from the face, essentially the more spin that driver will create, the more forgiving it will be. Now, the only thing that I would say, if this is being aimed at a, I guess, lower handicap player, putting that weight really far back might not suit them but maybe that's not the way they want to go. I'm just looking at it here and let me know what you think. I'm getting those good player vibes. So what do you think of it? I think it looks great. I really, really think it looks great. Now, this is the thing that really surprised me, as I say. The fact that on the USGA conforming list, it says the hosel features are orientation indicators. So this confirms that the driver will have adjustability. So most drivers, I'm going to say from Cobra, Titleist, TaylorMade, Callaway, you sort of have in the region of one to one and a half to two degrees that you can either loft your driver up or loft your driver down. Now, some more complex models, for example, in the Callaway, allow you to set it a little bit more to draw a little bit more upright, a little bit flatter lie angle, more to fade, more neutral, has a little bit more flexibility. I'm sort of imagining because we know the price point of this, and yes, I just said we know the price point of this, that I'm thinking that it's just going to have the option to loft up or loft down. But I guess if you think about it logically, right, for the price point that it is, I'm not surprised at that because obviously the more orientation indicators you have, the more flexibility you have, the more money it generally costs, right? Okay, so what else do we know? It also has here on the SGA conforming list that the crown comes with a dot alignment mark. Now, no one has seen any pictures of the crown yet, but I'm imagining it could be a little circular dot. It could be a, a little round dot with um, essentially a mi missing middle. 
essentially, this is very, um, again, I'm going to say it, Titleist-esque. They had the little TSI logo. It's a very premium look to a driver. You've got to think, right? All the major manufacturers have a little sight line. All the major manufacturers, I'm going to say, look at this and you go, what looks like the most expensive? I think Titleist, I don't know why, the, the new TSI driver with the sort of glossy crown with the little detailing just looks very minimalistic, I guess, compared to the likes of the Stealth with the red face, the Paradigm with the little ridge between the carbon and the titanium. And again, we could say the same thing for the Cobra Aerojet of 2023. So more information here for you. And this is the what is still open for speculation. So if you think there's been a common theme over the last two to three years, there's been more and more carbon coming into a driver. That being the most carbon, we'd probably say, including the carbon face from the Stealth 2. Now, carbon is expensive. And if you think the prices of those drivers are in the realms of $499 plus, like they are skywards, right? Yes, they're set to come down because we're heading into a new driver season in the new year. But when they came out of retail, you're talking $500-ish around that mark. Now, one of the reasons for that is more carbon, more expensive. You look at cheaper models that are more titanium-based, they are cheaper because the material is cheaper. You've got to look at the fact that um, a hybrid and a fairway wood are cheaper because they have less carbon. So I'm going to say right now, I don't anticipate this driver to have carbon, but if it does, and listen closely to this, if it does have carbon and it hits the price point, then this is outstanding. And why I say it's outstanding is the fact that it's so much cheaper than any driver on the market right now. So if it has carbon in it, like a carbon crown, weight saving, very similar to some of the drivers we've seen, Paradigm being one, Aerojet being another. And I'm going to say like this, this must have an asterisk, asterisk next to it. And it still performs, doesn't break, then all other manufacturers will be scared. Categorically, because they have then managed to produce a driver that has all the features, the looks, and potentially the performance of what we class as a premium driver, but not at that cost. So I've mentioned the cost throughout this video, and it's about time we get to it. Because there have been images speculating on the new ball prices, the new iron prices, and, of course, the driver. So let's start with golf balls. Kirkland 3 Priest golf ball in yellow are going to sell at $27.99. The Kirkland irons are going to be $499.99. And just to put that in perspective, the competitors are around $1,300. Now the big one, the driver. Where does this come at? I can't believe we're saying this because if they do manage to get every single one of these features, this is crazy. Like absolutely crazy. So the competitors are around $499 as we said. The Kirkland Signature Driver is set to be released and be able to be bought by consumers for around $199.99. That's like 180 quid. Are you joking me? So what do we think of the driver? I said this at the start. Are you a golfer who's already using Kirkland Signature Clubs? Maybe golf balls, maybe gloves, whatever it might be. I would love to know. But what do you think of this driver? My jaw hit the floor when I saw this because... It looks brilliant. The features on the conforming list and the potential that we don't know the material yet. If it is carbon, wow, I think my head might well and truly fall off. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's breaking news video here on Back Nine Films. If you did enjoy this, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and that way I can keep you up to date with everything that is going on within the golf industry.